connection with this lovely lady. Linda Polinsky began as a free arts mentor in 1994, just one year after free arts inception. By 2006, she had completed eight weekly mentor terms, um, which at that time were 20 weeks in length. She worked specifically with one particular group of young mothers who had a hard time finding themselves among the duties of being a new mom and finishing school or looking for a job. During her weekly mentor program, Linda worked on a project with the girls that asked them to reflect on their own gifts and beauty, and she arranged to have the resulting pieces displayed in a gallery downtown, and all on her own, hosted an opening exhibit where each of them spoke about their pieces and received roses symbolizing the beauty that she saw in each girl. It was one of the first free arts events of its time and evolved into the Professional Artist Series. At the time she was mentoring, she was also developing her own artistic talents, which she was able to put to use as one of Free Art's very first professional teaching artists. Linda also participated in the original planning committee and worked as a counselor and a volunteer for Mac Camp. So it's easy to see why in 2007, when I got to come to Free Arts, Linda was already the stuff that legends are made of, and is why our program director at the time recommended as a new staff member, I visit Linda's weekly mentor group, which I did, and I'm going to speed through this story, but basically, I showed up at a house full of teen girls, super nervous, because I'd never done anything like it, and in the parking lot, I met Linda, who was like, aren't you so excited with what we're gonna do today? And I was like, uh-huh. And I said, what's your project? And she went, wait till I show you. And she whipped out a dead fish. And I went, what are you doing? <laughs> and she said, we're gonna do printmaking with fish. And I was like, you are crazy. And these teen girls are gonna think you're bonkers. And what, what's gonna happen in the next hour? And sure enough, the girls came in. They said, what are we gonna do? Linda showed them the fish. She showed them how to paint the fish with acrylics, how to mix colors. And everybody left that session with a big smile on their face and a white t-shirt with a giant fish printed across it. <laughs> they were so cool. And it showed me that it really doesn't matter what you do. It matters who you are when you're working with these kids. So since that day 12 years ago, Linda has stayed involved with Free Arts, thank God, and I and all of our other staff members have been so impressed by her careful planning, her warm and quick communication, her incredible creativity and thoughtfulness, preparation and structure, and just overall ability to create and hold very safe space for children and let them know that they're cared for. So, Linda, thank you so much for your dedication. But before we clap, I want to turn it over to um, my other dear friend, Chris Kolash, who got to create our um, pieces for our Volunteer of the Year Awards and also Linda's piece. So I have the great privilege of doing this, and it is a Resilience Leader Lifetime Achievement Award, but as you can see, she's nowhere close to the end of her lifetime, so I can only imagine the incredible things that are going to come out of Linda's heart and her love and her warmth and it was such an honor for me because if you get a chance to see this lady you'll see her with really long hair and this was a long time ago but to me Linda has always been synonymous with free arts because it is through this organization that we have had a 25 year long friendship and been able to create lots of great memories together and just work side by side serving the youth and so um, I'm very honored to present you with this first time ever award Linda. Oh. Yeah.